Yeah, I mean, the previous uh, LIG, it's, it's well known. She resigned um, saying, quote, that, that our watered down ethics reform that we did a couple of years ago was a, was a paper tiger, that the LIG office was a paper tiger. Um, you know, as far as having confidence in the current one, until you put processes in place that give them some independence and, and allow them to actually um, start an investigation, um, you know, in the in the General Assembly without the approval of the Legislative Ethics Commission, I think it's really, really hard to to pass a judgment on on that office, you know, operating under the under the current conditions. But we've put forward all kinds of anti-corruption measures. You know, we've 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 been doing this for for years. You know, as far as economic disclosures, did a little bit of that in the in the last general assembly. But the biggest thing is we need real watchdogs in, in this house. You know, because we don't have that right now with the LIG and the situation that that it, that it is. So you know, there's nothing in here that that prevents conflicts of, of interest. You know, that that makes a politician work for the people and not for their own um, you know future best interests or current best interests. So th there's a lot of things that we need to do in that in, in that regard. Um, but you know, as far as you know, setting up an environment to bring people back into this state. Number one, we've got to restore confidence in, in, in this state that, uh, you know, people can do business here and, you know, without without government interference or government corruption or cronyism, the things that Illinois is is known for. But, you know, if we're going to if we're going to do things that we say we want to do, like properly fund education and, you know, be attractive to job creators, we've got to really tackle some, some st systemic issues. And Dan hit on it, you know, um, we're never going to lower property taxes or, or fund education the way that we want to fund it until we deal with the, you know, two, two things in my mind, the, the pension crisis and the sheer volume of government in this state. We got way too many taxing bodies taxing way too much and having way too much control over this state. And that's just, you know, uh, between that and our regulatory environment, you know, why, why would you want to invest here? If you can look around at some of the other states that offer some of the advantages, not all of the advantages that Illinois has, what we want to do is set up a set up a, a system, do some smart deregulation, tackle some of these big issues, get in the middle of the pack on some of the on some of this regulatory environment, and the natural advantages of this state will take over, and we will be on a be on a course to be prosperous again.